easily the worst performance in recent times. He'd served the season, but the first two games, but obviously the run we've been on, just felt like we weren't there to show up, really. No cohesion, no... It looked leggy. but really, really leggy. Um, if at a pinch, maybe Cedric can hold his head up. Um, but... There's not a lot to speak about there, is there really? The only thing, there's a couple of things. Um, and Alan Smith, Alan Smith, to be fair, on commentary, he nailed a few points. Um, a lot of people outside the club who've not been watching us week in, week out will say that that's our reality check. But that's a 180 to what it is. That's a that's not what we've been seeing all season um, so we need to register that and not panic stations obviously the game at the weekend Brighton's huge interesting that we've got Brighton and Southampton I think if it would have been West Ham and Chelsea straight after this even as a positive brother I'd have been a bit more like worried not to say that um, the games at the weekend in Southampton aren't going to be difficult. I think, again, Alan Smith touched on it. The kind of result like that makes teams think that they can get in, in at us again now. Um, so we know that we're going to get, what, maybe 10, 15 minutes of strong challenges and players closing down on the ball. But I don't mind when teams closes down because we have the ability to pass around that but when party's not on form when Odegaard's not on form when Lacker's non-existent you can't get Saka in that game Smith Rowe's playing in second gear you know he's not running at players Um I'd have brought Lekonga on even before party had an issue you know he looked composed when he come on Um Shaky at the back. Don't know what happened. Gabriel going to ground for that second. Tavares is going to take a lot of heat, man. A lot of flack. Um, I thought it was fouled on the first goal. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, yeah. I mean... What do we do? Do we play three at the back? I think they might suit us. Three. Three, four, three. Three, five, two. Um, maybe have that wing back system. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, if you play it with holding at the back there, it's very defensive. But Jacker is not suited out there. We just playing him for the sake of playing him. Be interesting to know how long Tane is out for. Fingers crossed, not long because that again, huge, huge player and a significant loss. I think I'm trying to think of a positive. You know, with Chelsea losing, we didn't make ground on them, but at least they've not got further away from us. And United drawing, um, that's it. Another point that Alan Smith made Mondays, man. I were at that Everton game. We were shit. We were shit here. But we came back so we can come back again. This week, it's all about a response now. How do they respond in training? I saw at the end the way that they walked off the pitch, still applauded the fans, but they walked off, obviously, with the tail between the teeth because they were pissed off, they were vexed, and I think Arteta's going to have a, a solid go at him. And it is now all about response. How do they answer that? How do they come back? The fact that it's at home, home fans will be behind him. Got a week to get out of our system now. Fuck this off. It is what it is. Get back to winning ways. Still believe. It's still there. We just need to turn up and make sure that we can fucking put in a performance now to build again from now until the end of the season. As always, 
Ben Random, blessing you all, peace and light. Victoria, Concordia, Creset, bless. Till next time, man. Don't let this one drain you. We're still in there. We're still in our hands. We're still our gaming hand. And it play the teams around us. In the words of Mike Skinner, kids try and stay positive.